Pierce is repeated from MK Ultra. Exactly, exactly, exactly scenario from MK Ultra. We had neighbor giving me a lesson so you should take the license down and you will not with your Skoda. And that's a police officer. Neighbor. What that tells me basically just like he you should take the uh, tag registration numbers off and you did not and you will not you will not this is the way it was and you will not what they had in mind was a Skoda from Poland which I have purchased and they had one vandalized literally with the people who were involved in MK Ultra together with the police after police organized a robbery uh, talking about the Czech police what I, what that tells me is that my neighbor a police officer neighbor method Yerman directly is involved in what they did to me with the Škoda Felicia in the Czech Republic. That's basically what tells me. That's what pisses me off. I don't know if this is exactly the same car, but if you ask me, this Volkswagen Polo is exactly the same car as to which they have used the MK Ultra probably in 2017 to tell me Here I made a mistake. Probably when they had me in 2019, before they plundered me the car. When they delivered me from Poland, when they hijacked me from Poland to Slovenia police, that's basically what they were giving me an instructions to at least fake the license tags of the vehicle, whatever. and you will not this is what this shit is this is what this is all about this vehicle number i'm going to take a vin number of it and eventually i'm going to have this car investigated <laughs> shit it should have been a vin number here somewhere Just check this out. I bet this is exactly, exactly the same car as police used to intimidate me. Exactly the Volkswagen Polo. Who does it belong to? I think it actually belongs to the local Roma people. But I am not sure. But I would say that probably. And this car is not being drivable already for some time. This car must not be drivable, must be in, yeah, oh, that's, that's impossible to tell because car looks like it's in drivable condition, so this is a tough call to say, yeah, it's a tough call to say, uh, however, both tires, front tires are punctured, uh, yeah, what I think is the same problem is with my neighbor Andre Ull who was uh, who did use Volkswagen Python to remind me of MK Ultra and have literally taken the front grill down front mask to remind me how he purchased the car with what damage and this and that and so on and so forth and so what we have here is basically identical police operation basically identical thing with police repeating the same stuff as they have used it in MK Ultra to, to gesture me that I eventually have to take the uh, I don't know how the hell you say that license registration not really license registration but at the 
you know, the plates, the, the, oh shit, there, there, there should be a VIN number right here and there is no fucking VIN number. I don't like that fact. Every manufacturer should have a VIN number right here on a dashboard right here. There is no VIN number here. This was already repaired. I think this car is from local Roma community. It's already fixed, but uh, identical stuff, identical damage. The tires are fucked up. Uh, it looks like somebody would uh, have like a car crash here, like somebody drunk would be operating the vehicle some stuff like this because i see all damage here too shit man this this car this car looks in exactly exactly like in the same form in the same exactly the same way as it was when i was delivered from the pollen let me see something else this is car from local Roma community, 100%. This is a car from local Roma community, I know, because the only thing they did with this car was they replaced the tires. They, 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 this tire, this is still good. All right, you can drive with that one, but this here, they mounted uh, what you see right here with this ferg, with this... Uh, you know what I mean. I don't know how you say that right now. Rims, whatever. The same thing. So that they could remind me as much as possible of what went on here when they had me uh, basically hijacked from Poland. What I was told that this and that and la 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 la. I am going to definitely use this to prove that assault on me i faced a, uh, i i faced a robbery then they went ahead they destroyed me the car they broke the car into pieces uh then they assault me in the middle of the night which could result in fatality uh yeah i am i am fucking speechless about the damage they have done to me in the czech republic you know who it was? Slovenian police. With a Czech police. And consequently, because I was hijacked from Poland to Slovenia, with Polish police involved as well. So I am going to use this one. I like this. I immediately recognize this issue. Immediately I recognize this stuff. Let me see if you... It says here 503, but that cannot be no F in mileage. It can be no, de no indicator of anything. And I, I'm not going to go inside. I already left some fingerprints right here. But what really troubles me is that there is no VIN number. There is nothing I can use to, to grant the identification of the, of the vehicle. This is a proof that Slovenian police had fingers in destroying also my car, in a robbery, in destruction of my car, on a physical attack that I, they engineered in, uh, in a Czech Republic. No, I had no idea that Slovenian police had something to do with that until now. This is actually... A eye opener for me. Uh, a fact. I like the fact that uh, now I know that it was also Slovenian police that was involved in it. Question is how much was involved in it. You know, Slovenian police was involved enough so that I couldn't land the job in a Czech Republic back then, uh, and or returned with this little car I purchased in Poland.
Which, by the way, I like this Skoda Felicia. It was a really fun car to drive. And so they really, really fucked me. They, 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 they robbed me of the several of, of what, two, three telephones I had with me. Uh, they, they destroy all the belongings, everything inside. It was nice stuff I had. And they destroyed me the car completely. Neighbor Method Yerman was involved in stuff in a Czech Republic, a police officer. I'm not going to be able to get much of this information about this car, but this car belongs to... Ah! Ah, ah, shit. Ah. That was a dangerous stuff. Hey, look, you go like this, you know how deep this is? I have fallen up to here, like this. It's about one meter something that is deep, the hole. Uh, it's a hole, actually. You can step here, uh, you can step there, you can step anywhere. But over there, uh, luckily my leg is not broken. Uh, and uh, that's a good thing too. All right. So this car belongs to the local Roma community, from what I recall, and no, they did not fix one. Uh, this car is on a record like this already for, uh, I God knows how long, but they did draw one. They drove with this car, I know they did draw, they operated this car. It's a drivable car. The car is drivable. I tell you what, I remember the guy who was drunk and was driving the car. This is a local Roma guy here. He had a beard. He is about one meter and 70 centimeters tall. Uh, kind of a skinny guy he was. This stuff happened uh, with the stuff I'm talking to you about right now. Uh, 2017 this is not 2019 it was already 2017 and he was uh, returning from home something like this uh, no actually I have no fucking idea maybe from work toward home something like this like a skinny guy and he does have a beard okay he also has a wife Obviously. Yeah, I remember the guy who was, he was involved in this stuff. But what gets me is that uh, he did not fix the car. He used the same car. Uh, obviously, they mounted uh, what you see here to remind me of what they promised me would take place against me in the Czech Republic. So I know now for sure, I have a proof now that Slovenian police knew about what's about to happen in a Czech Republic. I also have to tell you that during MK Ultra, they tortured me. Czech police tortured me. They heavily tortured me for several years on this location where I parked the car in Czech Republic with a future physical assault on me in the middle of the night breaking the car and stuff like this this is the truth about the car about the incident about the attack on me in a czech republic it just i didn't know that slovenian police was so connected with all this stuff i had no idea about this now we're talking about the guy Ah, I estimate at least my age, he is about five years older than I am, original guy. So this must be 
maybe even hear from uh, Schumpeter. Uh, I think he's from Schumpeter, a local Roma guy, I think he is. And one evening he was returning back from work. Uh, it must have been 2017, if not even 2016. And he was drunk. And uh, he damaged the car. That's all there is to it. And so he fixed the car. And meanwhile, yes, of course, he fixed the car. He, he, he didn't drive the car like this. He fixed the car, of course. But police did this shit. They used this car in 2000 and on several occasions. Yeah. So that at least that I should take the fucking license tag down, eh? the the license number, you know. Well, I mean, <laughs> fuck the police like this is uh, the police like this that makes a big difference between the police and with the police. I mean, this is not a police. This police is very interesting police for a real police. <laughs> This is not what the real police is. The real police obviously doesn't do stuff like doesn't do stuff like this. That's crazy. Well, let's go to see a little bit. It's over now. The summer is gone. All the tourists heading back. Yeah, I could notice the big ass hole I have fallen inside with one leg. I just disappeared oh, <laughs> all of a sudden. I was inside of the hole. He already paid off for me to go for a walk for this morning hours. I ate something and I needed some fresh air. And that's going to do it for me. Yeah. See some Germans here. Sometimes I see cars that I recognize them. I see some Italians here, some uh, guy from Austria, and that's uh, from Zurich, and yeah, we have uh, some French guy here. <laughs> uh, well, We have like a little international team here. Okay, we go back, we go back. So this, this Roma guy, he has a wife, I remember, and uh, I think a local kid is already grown up now. Already grew up, his kid. Yeah, this was like 2016 when, when he had this car accident. You know, it's about 170 centimeters tall. And uh, he was working one evening and he was coming back from work and, and uh, what the hell, it could be also, it was 2015, even this I suspect. It's, Quite long ago, 2015 probably, not even 2016. So they did fix the car, except that whatever is on the side, they didn't fix. Whatever is on the side is still in the same shape, but nobody's driving a car like this. The, 
the tires they mounted, they mounted with the original uh, from the accident, the rims and stuff like this, and they parked it over there, so it would remind me. But it's a nice car, you know, it's a nice, beautiful little Volkswagen Polo. It was like Volkswagen Polo, small car, but a nice little car. The poor lad was drunk, but uh, he has a nice wife and everything. I don't know if he's still alive. I'm a little bit worried. Uh, a little people like this worry me a little bit. I don't know. I've seen all kinds of stuff happening and uh, he's got two boys. This, this man has got two boys and uh, I remember these two boys growing up. He's got two boys and uh, I've seen all kinds of stuff happen to people from all kinds of backgrounds and uh, life is always the same, you know. Uh, some people uh, some people understand you know, uh, talking about the young people, you know, but it's the same thing with the older people. Some people, some people, if they are older, they they learn from mistakes. They uh, they are willing to adjust themselves. They are willing to change their views, adjust themselves. Um, and some people are just not, you know, and uh, all this stuff that I state right now, uh, it all has tremendously a lot to do with home environment, basically family at home, and uh, and sometimes it's just that. they don't get or they get this too late or it's already maybe even too late for them maybe the the kids got uh, too much of a lesson when they were young and I, that kind of stuff is that kind of part inside of them that uh, does not allow them to view parents uh, through what comes with the age, you know, with more experienced, through more experienced eyes. But uh, his son, his older son, I think he was quite understanding. I think he completed like a three-year-old, three-year school. He was motivated in work. Uh, I think he was, he was quite uh, uh, realistic. I don't like using the word ambitious or, uh, you know, in life, as good as it gets, is uh, for you to be realistic about life. If you're realistic about life, uh, then everything, uh, you know, it all adds up to okay. And it's better to be a pessimist realist uh, then, you know, uh, it all depends how you look, how you view life is, but uh, this son, he was quite uh, serious about it. He, he wouldn't let father too much to uh, for too long interfere with his uh, 
plans for life so but i also hope he didn't take too far so you know i'm just saying you know here environment changed uh, tremendously in slovenia i remember a totally different world here than what it became people changed enormously uh, and uh, it did go for better uh, and I think afterwards it did go for worse because we became a part of uh, what is uh, known as a Tržna Ekonomija as a market economy it is people characteristic for the people to view uh, very very impersonally you know in a market economy everybody is busy everybody is to himself to themselves uh, people simply a rush uh, each in his own uh, direction uh, not very social human beings anymore i feel that people are very reserved because they are afraid of one another uh, i feel that people are even afraid to exchange uh, views with one another what uh, tells me there is a lot of stuff that goes on behind the closed doors you know what i experienced uh, definitely in my life definitely is a strange phenomena uh, that uh, might be one could not see people together uh, but when these strange situations took place the people would gather together with one another like crazy and that's what I think I think for all the wrong reasons I mean it's exchange opinions and views which is rather good because it helps society to steer clear of the problems and uh keep it official clean and etc 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 you know but i am a little bit afraid of society like this because it's i think it's too impersonal i think it's uh young people that sometimes view their parents uh like uh, uh like uh, maybe even something unnecessary you know something like burden like hurdle uh something like uh, rather than a family member you know i think that even if your family members uh acted uh, insane or or criminal uh you know i would say that uh well everybody knows for himself or herself how to deal with these issues i i'm not going to give any kind of opinion on that uh but it's a lot of factors that are involved in a case like mine so considering all these factors definitely will not solve uh, all my dilemmas but it definitely will help me understand uh, more about what took place how why more or less because uh, really like everything else in life
the best help you can is to basically to get to basically help yourself you know there is no psychiatrist no psychologist and no police officer or no no fireman no nobody out there not nobody no hero that will uh, that will make you steer clear from the problems uh, basically make you understand whatever the hell you need to understand to get past uh, all the potential traps which uh, state set for you i hope you understand that this kind of stuff is not coincidence you know this is bullshit they're not doing this kind of stuff to help to assist to la 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 it's all this bullshit it doesn't matter when you go to war you go you were in the war you're a war veteran you're Whatever the fuck you are, it doesn't matter what you did in life. Uh, I don't care if you carried your head for sale every fucking day of your life. I don't know. There is some difficult professions out there that easily can leave scars uh, in people, uh, in, in souls of the people, in minds of the people for life. But I have to tell you that nobody's gonna fix this shit for you other than yourself. You, it doesn't matter who, what profession, what medication, what the fuck is out there. Nothing really will have this thing solved for you other than yourself. So I learned to view all the shit that they stress in my face in exactly form as I stated to you. And that's what I suggest to you all, that you, you know, you take care of your own shit because nobody else will, really. I don't know how much it helps, but uh, I know for a lot of older people that end up alone without kids, without uh, spouses, without anyone, without, you know, like I said, it's different circumstances for different people, but all in all, whatever is the hell you do that also pertains to your family members, you should know that you will be dealing with it for the rest of your life, whatever decisions that you make. So be easy on yourself, that's what I'm saying. So peace. Uh, yeah, before I close this video, Slovenian police was totally, totally, totally involved in it. I'm not gonna use, I'm not gonna even try to use the expression like update it or did they knew about, fuck this. Uh, I am actually, I wonder, next to this Czech police department, uh, how much the Slovenian police, in fact, was involved in this assault on me. This assault on me came close to death, as close as death comes, in a real meaning of death. One guy... Uh, who participated, uh, played a thug that assisted his friend, uh, was about my size, about maybe six foot tall, and the other guy maybe was 6.57 tall, uh, maybe 100 and 95 centimeters, maybe 190, 195 centimeters tall, over 190 centimeters tall, and have taken a shuffle out of my car. A brand new shuffle, which I purchased, uh, which is actually a deadly weapon if you want to whack somebody 
you can cut person on half with a fucking thing. And so what I want to say to you is smash the car just as you have seen and during MK Ultra they had me uh, inside of the car uh, and what they did was it was exactly identical situation they would cover me with a vinyl bag during MK Ultra uh, and told me they, they used like a vinyl bag and they used a blanket they covered me, drugged up inside of the car and they started to smash the windows with me inside of the car during MK Ultra, you understand? And this was with not check police permission, but under the close guidance, a supervision, check police orchestrated against me. In Ostrava, okay? In exactly location where I afterwards parked the car and was assaulted and never assisted by the Czech police which came to assist me once I uh, reported the incident so this is totally totally fucked up they didn't do this once to me during MK Ultra talking about covering me with a blanket drugged up cover me with a blanket and with a plastic, uh, whatever they used, and smashed the doors. But they did this at least like on two, three occasions. It was traumatic as it gets. And they were traumatized with the windows broken and stuff. Exactly the stuff that repeated afterwards when I came in real time. Just so you... <laughs> You know something, eh? when I step out of the car and the guy hit me with a shuffle and stuff like this, do you know how close this was that could develop literally easily into fatality? Centimeters. The night when assault took place was pitch dark. It was darker than this. There is a light there, but where I was assaulted, I am just going to give you for the comparison how dark it was. It wasn't light like this. There was a fucking light, but it was totally dark. We were basically not even having the ability to see the fucking guy holding in his hands a very serious weapon indeed. And it was not the only weapon he had in his hands. It was like this, you know, like this. Now, fucking God help you with this stuff. Now, I don't know if you're going to see the corn here. Now, I have to come like really close. But it was, see this corn? I saw the guy about like this, like this, as you see. Couldn't even fucking see the guy at night. Like this, with the glasses, with everything I was here. There by myself. The guy I had with him... Uh, a baton, uh, a stick, a pepper spray, uh, all kinds of shit the police armed him with that they were about to use on me if necessary, if I would attack them. So it was no win and possibly even a fatality for me job in Ostrava in the Czech Republic in 2020 when the Czech police orchestrated assault on me. I am charging the Czech police with a murder attempt. Not only by destroying me a vehicle, vandalizing me, robbing me, but literally with a murder attempt. And they were not alone in it, like I stated. Slovenian police knew exactly what is about to happen. They participated in it. When Czech police exercise this stuff with me,
and it was the Polish owner who sold me the Škoda that traveled also to Ostrava. He was present absolutely everywhere in MK Ultra. At times I was delivered to the Czech Republic for this kind of torture straight from Slovenia. So it was the Slovenian police all the way. The question here only is how much was Slovenian police in it?